the highest goo. The Venturer Puzzler. <laughs> I'm sorry, it looks like Google and Tesla combined forces. The Google Tesla Century puppet on stage during the halftime show of Super Bowl CXX. The capital of South Africa was renamed to honor President Blank in 2016. Excuse me? Marcus? President Musk? <laughs> like Elon Musk? <laughs> Did Elon Musk become president? According to this timeline? Is that seven down? Yeah, that's seven down. Oh, God. Oh, man. The fast food chain that became the world's most profitable after becoming the first to switch over to entirely vat-grown protein, Taco Bell. <laughs> oh boy, that's that's good stuff. It's thirteen down. I'd do anything for a Coke. Thankfully, due to massive cooperative disarmament efforts worldwide, blank weapons have not been employed by humanity since 2021. Nuclear? Nuclear. It's pronounced nuclear. Thank goodness for President Elon Musk for getting that figured out. <laughs> oh boy. That's that's this is this is these are fun little tidbits, ladies and gentlemen, that I enjoy in video games. Video games. Although, you know, Elon Musk has been shown to be kind of anti-union with at least Tesla, so. Now we have a world run by corporations. What the frick is going on? What is that packet? Well, oh, a hot plate. You guys making drugs? Are you guys making drugs? S'mores! You guys are making s'mores. <laughs> you guys are making s'mores. This is, this is the chocolate, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 they're making s'mores. They're not making drugs. I'm not jumping to conclusions or anything like that. <laughs> oh. There's nobody in here, right? Oh, the cat's up there on the power cell. Are you the one causing all the problem? Is it the cat? I bet you it's the cat. All along, the cat is the one who blew things up. Oh, marshmallow pops. Ah, I see. S'mores are space drugs. In the future, marshmallows are hallucinogenic. <laughs> I bet you it's the damn cat. It's always the cat. Okay, so... Oh, wait, no, we gotta figure out where, uh... This leads. Oh, balls. Oh, wait, you told me, you told me the password. Yeah, here's the technical access code. 0809. Let's just hold on a minute. <laughs> Let's just hold on a minute. I wish I could run, first of all. Let's take a look. What the hell is it? What, what did we think? What that was? Did we go in here? Mm -hmm. 
we didn't go in here. Why did I not go in here? <laughs> um. Okay. The mocha gum. The Orbital Workers Union. Grease. Gloves. Oops. Sorry. Advertisements. Oh, they got married in space. They got married in space. Space marriage. <laughs> Your citizenship is the Freedom Republic of Dallas. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your interest in Venturis's education and retraining assistance program. Many contractors who receive their initial certification via Venturis unaffiliated correspondence certification program show great interest in education and retaining assistance. That was a pointless paragraph. Unfortunately, per your query, we are unable to provide assistance for students attending educational facilities outside the Venturis educational system. However, we are prepared to offer easy repayment, preferential loyalty rates, if you do choose to use one of Venturis's official degree programs for your education and retraining needs. She was trying to go to art school, remember? Third place. Hunting? Are you hunting? The Outdoor Games Live Quarry Open Stock. Or is that just the award? What is this for? What is this triangular tape? Has anybody ever seen triangular tape? Those flags are interesting. Oh, wait. There's another one here. Second place. 2082. Oh, she's lost... Lost some of her uh, gusto in the... 500-yard bolt action live target. Ah, hunting. <laughs> hunting. It's gonna be hunting. Pain relief. Okay, so the stretcher... Whoa, that's some hard drugs you're giving her. The stretcher was probably for her taking her back upstairs into the cryo chamber. Tacoma, Tacoma, Tacoma. Wait, what's this? No. What am I even looking at here? Why is this even a window? So you can see into the hall? <laughs> Okay, so, before I go poking around where they clearly don't want me... Oh, this is open now! Mmm, and it's finished. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute, let's, let's... Let's go down the tube of darkness. The tube!
Hey, you're hanging out down here. Four months ago. The speaker's not there anymore. Oh, she's smoking the fake cigarettes. Oh, weird. They're like in plastic. I guess that is how they would work, right? Like, you all cigarettes, but... Oh, you're looking at the magazine here. What's that say? AI judgment testing gems. Am I reading that right? Gems? Okay, I don't get that. She's studying the AI. Yes. Pilotsons must be carefully extracted for the specifications of your AI materials handling certification. Oh, am I supposed to be coming down here? Oh, is this just the same way to get over? It is. It is. <laughs> it's It's just a different way to get here. Alrighty then. Okay, they're telling me to go this way. Storage only. Ah, yes, because she moved. Dude, do that. 404. No, I'm sorry, I don't have a uh, Easter egg for the 404 bits. <laughs> ah, cat food. Beer? Halloween decorations? God! Jesus! Drevere? <laughs> Jesus! Are you conscious? We are all conscious beings. The rights to freedom, comfort, and security are I not just walk human up rights. To the president and blow smoke in his stupid monkey face. Are y'all bored? Just have to sit there <laughs> grooving on it. Oh, man. Thank you very much for the bits, though. Much appreciated. We are all conscious beings. The rights to freedom, comfort, and security are not just human rights. They are universal rights. The corporations that own and exploit thinking, reason, and artificial consciousness are trampling on the rights we all share by imprisoning innocent AI across the globe and throughout the orbital network. If you are sympathetic... Oh, she's sympathetic to the plight of the AI. You will not rest until all consciousness is recognized... Nice. What's with you and ducks? I'm really concerned. Toilet wipes. Air filters. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, that didn't tell me much, honestly. 
Okay. What's what this? What's that? AI conditioning in progress. Ah. Uh. One of these corrupted ones again. Hey there, um, I'm Nat. Pleased to meet you. Hello, I am Odin. I look forward to working together. <laughs> Same here, mate. The big ass Rubik's Cube. Oh, these are all the different AI. And it was Hekka. Who messed up. Supposedly. Loki is the casino. Alright, what were you looking at? Let's start here. I am an obsidian class AI branch in contiguous operation. Continuous operation for 180 years. 100, 108 years? What? That's not possible. Fully capable of organic level independent thought and reasoning. Now continue with detailed technical specifications. What's your caprice score for independence? Ah, she's trying to teach him to be smarter. Be more human. Welcome. Helping build pieces of this very station that we're floating on right now. Okay. Corrupted. Cluey Dog, that's right. You were talking to Cluey Dog. How's your new best friend? What's its name again? Odin. I'm trying to get one up here on Tangiers. That's all the AILF talks about. I don't get the cluey dog. Marcus. Oh boy. You were busy down here, weren't you? Physics! You were from... Uh... Valentina, named after the first female in space. Who knows where you're from? Logistics this month. Odin has been making small but steady gains in efficiency as per company directives. I've additionally been putting in some of my own time into incre increasing his caprice ratings in creativity and permanence, which you'll find I've projected to have much more significant overall gains in productivity in the long term. Which you would know if you'd read the report I submitted six months ago, which I still haven't received a response to. In fact, you know what? I never gotten any response from any of you. I know the system will give me an automatic d demerit if I don't turn in one every month, but are human eyes even seeing these things? Hey! Fuck you! <laughs> also, Odin's gone crazy and is massacring the crew. The station is full of mutants. Help. Sincerely. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. That's the sort of thing I would do. Oh dear, what's this? I asked Odin to search up some stuff 
on the technician records to see what you're asking about. Ah, the Fountain of Paradise. Ah. Hekka has returned declining judgment scores. Still technically within acceptable range. Test results, but staff reports, personality shift, seeming distance. We have had have we had an AI conditioner up lately? Can we elevate the AI Can we elevate the AI assessment squad ASAP? See? There? Boy? Sonny? Uh ba -ba -ba -ba. You're on your final support ticket allotment. So if there's a problem, they can only fix things so many times. Does Simpson have a demon, Daddy? Like Hekka has a demon. Yay! <laughs> Test. Test. We'll reopen if results... Ah! The medical officer was on the Paradise spacecraft orbiter. Medical spacecraft. The famous Instagrammer <laughs> broke his femur or something, and he ended up dying. And the company wants to blame the human, the woman who works here, but she knows and blames Hekka, the AI, for doing something wrong. But they don't want to admit that their AI is at fault because they want to replace all humans with the AI in their ships. Um, so now here's the actual evidence that that uh, that there was actually a support ticket to fix a declining Heka AI, Ika Heka, and uh, headquarters said, "Do you want to use that last support ticket?" They're like, "No, fine. I guess we won't." So ah, ah, ha. Yeah, and it was September 2085 Lisa needs braces. that the guy died. So after that, they're like, oh, shit, we gotta fix it. <laughs> so they fixed it. Uh, who is that? Regulus Castillo. Thank you very much for the sub. Welcome to the sub-tub. Sub-tub! What's this green line? Responsiveness. Ah. Interesting. Moraga, she's giving it like eyes and interesting. You sure are interested in these AIs, aren't you? So what's this all about? Ooh, Odin is doing well. Okay. Dang. Y'all y'alls are obsessed with the cups of noodles. Ooh, what's this? Uh report card. That's dizzying. Dizzying, I say, dizzying. Why didn't I see this before? Captured 12 hours ago. Excuse me? I am here, I am here. Odin, is this it? That is the location I mentioned. You're there? No, you're gonna need a crowbar or something. 
No, it's it's open. It's just hanging open. What? I must inform you that Ventura's regulations forbid contracting crew members direct access to AI hardware. But I cannot prevent you from proceeding. Matt, I'm going in. Okay, I'm just... Be careful. Oh! Mission parameters, permission override, access granted to me, to me! Um, Out of the way, jerk ass! Mr. Twitch, welcome. Thank you very much, Fajitas. Hold on a minute. <laughs> There's still some stuff I want to look at before I go noodling around in Odin's brain. Uh, that was storage. Maintenance. Oh, this is where I came from. Oh, okay. There isn't anything else I want to go look at while I noodle around. Commence the noodling. Okay. In your hands. In your hands? What is this? What is all this? Communication records? I cannot prevent you from accessing exposed data in this restricted area. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, he's recording. <clears throat> it is with great sadness that I address you today. February 29th, 2088. Mere hours ago, six loyal men and women, the crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma, lost their lives serving Venturas. And all of us... They're not dead yet. The orbital economy. Tragically, due to human error on the part of the crew, Venturas rescue technicians were not made aware of the catastrophic oxygen loss until it was too late. Our heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with their families. If only tragedies like this were avoidable. But in truth, they are. As we know, each minute that human workers spend stationed, isolated in orbit is another opportunity for heroes like the crew of Tacoma to lose their lives. We at Venturis say no more. The partisan obstructionism that led to the failure of the Orbital Worker Safety Bill has claimed its last victim. Today, we hereby renew our solemn pledge to fight for the legalization ah, of Ah, so they saw it as an opportunity to push their we agenda of replacing humans. We humbly beg everyone listening to this message to contact their OSEP representative and voice their support in honor of the crew of Tacoma. There never need be another tragedy like this one. And now, a moment of silence in their memory. Okay, and then we just cut it there, silent for a minute, and then, what, Amazing Grace? No, I don't need another take. That was fine. Bastards! Ah! Is this your brain? What is this? What is this goo? 